face the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Enterprise. Its five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man... This is the robot called Starbot. It is built to have dual features. First, it is a line follower. Sensors on the front for the line, following the lines. It has a ping sensor on the front to stop if it gets too close to objects. And up here, it has an IR receiver for receiving signals from an infrared remote control. This happens to look like a Star Trek phaser, and it's programmed to respond to the buttons. Now, it won't do the line follow and the button response both at the same time. And what's interesting about it, there is a power button. If we have v hit VCR and power, it sends a signal. It'll stop running in line follow mode and switch to operate from the push buttons. Plays forward. The fast forward button is at twice that speed. The rewind button makes it run in reverse. The pause button is zeroes the line speed and stop takes it out of the IR remote control mode and, and it reverts back to I follow on the fly. Very interesting. So let's go look at more about the, the line follower part. There are seven sensors up in front that are photo transistors, infrared LEDs, uh, and then infrared sensitive photo transistors, TRT5000s. They have five volts on them, and depending on how reflective it is, uh, we have software to determine whether we count as a bit zero or a bit one, and bit one means it's black line, and underneath, if it is a bit value zero, it's white. Those are wired back into an Arduino Nano back underneath here. And so they're running to the analog inputs, which is really great. It saves us digital inputs for use for doing lights and things like that. This is kind of looks like a Star Trek thing. It's got nacelle lights. It's got turn signals. When it turns left, it goes left. When it's turning right, the right signal is light. If it stops, it has brake lights. Pretty cool feature. Also underneath, you see we have double A batteries. There are six of them. The six batteries are there so I could use rechargeables and have enough voltage to be able to drive the Arduino and the motors. So looking at the other side, there is a handmade terminal board in the front that's made for power distribution. It brings in the battery power on one side, which is approximately 7.4 volts, and distributes it for the lights and the wheels. The other side is 5 volts. Uh, the 7.5 volts goes to the Arduino, which gives it some headroom for its 5 volt power supply. The 5 volt po power supply then goes to over this thing, which powers the phototransistors and the ping module. So there we go. We're going to do some demos. Okay, so what we're going to do, the line follow mode can work either direction, it doesn't matter, which is a good feature to have. Also too, if it's lifted up off the white paper, since it's all black, it'll shut down for a few seconds. And also if it detects all black, like it's been lifted up off the paper, so if the idea is so if it loses contact with the track, it's going to stop for a little bit, let us know. Gives us a chance to catch it. Now also too, when I turn the power on, we'll see that there's a boot up sequence that shows all the lights. So that's one of the things I always put in there is when you turn power on, let's watch the lights boot up. Se sequence on. So there it goes. Oh, and it's line following. And that was a kind of a neat trick. It followed, turned around, and came back. And 
that's a pretty tight turn there. But we can see the line followers working. Uh, it has, the ping had detected a signal, so that is the, what the flashes are for the siren. We'll try that here. If we detect an obstruction, it stops, it goes away, it comes back. And for this time around, we're going to see if we can send the remote control soon to it and have it stop. So I'm remoting it. And there, I hit the pause button at zero speed, all the buttons. Also in this mode, if it detects something in the ping, it's going to try and back away from it. So the uh, automatic, so we don't have to try and control it so much with the, the remote control. It has some autonomous control in there. So uh, I can hit the, the button here, and it starts in forward. Hit the pause. I hit the rewind button. That makes it go backwards. Right now it's going backwards because of that. Forward. And reverse. Stop. Forward. Have to get in front of there it goes. It uh, when it's doing the routine for the light flashing, it doesn't update the I/O. So, in a nutshell, that was a that's our two-mode Starbot.